sing song 254, the great physician. Song 254, Jesus, the sweetest note in the angel's song is Jesus. Song Song 216, 216, 216, when the roll is called up yonder. Song 216, 216, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more.
church. Let's give him an even greater amen. Amen, church. Amen. Amen. Much better. Let's sing song 366. 366. Say we'll be there when God calls us. Son is asking, where are the reapers? Song 366.
Lord a more deserving amen. Amen, church. Amen. amen. Thank you for the wonderful singing. God bless you. Thank you, choristers, for praising the Lord. Happy Sabbath, church. God is good. And all the time. My name is Elisha Atuhaire. I am from uh, the Personal Ministries Department, at the same time from the Youth Department. The first task I'm given to do is uh, to remind you, uh, dear brethren, that today we shall have uh, baptism. And uh, to those who are ready, and those who are not yet aware of it, please get to know that you're baptizing today. You can register with me or with Elder Nyirimanzi, Elijah Elder by show of hand is there. I can register you and then you take a step of baptism today. Uh, from the youth ministry, uh, the senior youth ministry, I would like to recognize the people that successfully did the 10 hours of the training by awarding them the certificates. I'd like to invite uh, the head elder, Elder Paul, to come and give out these certificates. When I read your name, you come up front very fast and you receive your certificate. Um, the first person we have, a brother Lubwama Musa. It is a certificate of completion. This is to certify that Lubwama Moses has successfully completed the 10 hours of the senior youth leader curriculum uh, held on 4th September to 20th November 2022 at 7th day Adventist Kampala Central. Pastor Benon, Pastor Chigundu Benon Lincoln. Alan Wanyana. Elder Paul Mugabe. Thank you. Um, Elder Kevin Moses Moheire. Elder Foster Muganza. Elder Kato Derek Sebunjo. Elder Mkokoma Enoch, Stella Chigundu, Elder Zua Eria, Sarah Rubaiza, Nachiguli Grace, Lillian Wani Muwaya, Shanins Mohindo, Shanins Mohindo, John Alex Kalanzi. Winnie Mbabazi Kalanzi, Nora K. Luyombia, Mugamba Jacqueline, Billy Isaac Serumaga, Moviru Noah Dennis, Tugume Davis Kojo, Wambale Willington Mugabe, Mohwezi Jimmy, Helen Bileti, Ingrid Mohwezi, Joy Matovu, Helen Chirabo, Amoit Brenda, Baza. 
Hope Mabwa, Rebecca, Samuel Omondi Osike, Wabiaka David, Ramkura David, Chiguli Dennis, Namtebi Esther, Nansumba Esther, Enoch Makanga, Seremba Gerard, Chamazma Sandra. Magi Kaija, Chikanga Dexas, Jonathan, Sobia Seth, Chigumba, Ogule Daniel, Babide Fatuma Namakula, Nakato Farida, Kagulire Elijah, Olopek John, Otika Emi, Chohire Ann, Liaz Ruben Timothy, Sharon Karunji Liaz, uh, Nachimuli Esther, Sandra Ndagire, Isaac Chibombo, Patricia Chibombo, Seva Sore Kato Joseph, Winfred Kato, Subuga Elisha Nansamba Florence I'm Richard Thank you. Thank you, members, for accomplishing the task. But we are still moving on with the training. May the Lord bless you. Happy Sabbath, church, and happy day. Yes, it's a very blessed Sabbath, and uh, on behalf of uh, the church and the church pastor, I want to welcome you to this wonderful Sabbath after the six days of labor that he has taken us through, and I want to appreciate the personal ministries department for training of youth leaders. It is a very important aspect of the church that every leader needs, and uh, I want to appreciate the department and the team that has purpose to see that we have received this training. And on behalf of uh, the development department, I also want to thank every church member that has purposed and seen it well to contribute towards church construction. And as you might be in the know, uh, two weeks ago we hosted the Ambassadors of Christ and uh, we had two concerts and they were real successful concerts. And uh, Maybe before we give the report, I want to request the deacons and deaconesses 
to stand up and uh, do the power of 10. We collect 10,000. Dear visitors, um, Kampala Central Church has decided that every Sabbath we collect a minimum of 10,000 towards church construction. And uh, as the report is going to be given as one of the strategies that we agreed on, that uh, we shall be using to mobilize funds that was, uh, um, that was uh, the, the, the concerts that we had, we are going to have to receive a report from the treasurer. But as we receive the report, I request the deacons and deaconesses to collect that 10,000 as, as the treasurer comes on. Sister Allen, you're welcome. Good morning, church. Happy Sabbath. I'll request the communication team to project the report. As they project it, I want you I want to welcome you back from the concerts, those who went. How many of us went? Okay. I was there to welcome back. Um, okay, that's our report. Uh, we were able to collect in ticket sales one hundred fifty four million five hundred ten. And there were cash contributions, those were donations from people. It was thirty five million three hundred sixty one five hundred. Pledges forty forty two million seven hundred. I'm not hearing any amends. Amen. <laughs> and checks we got two million. Total cash and pledges was two hundred thirty four. 571, 500. That MN is weak, my friends. <laughs> okay. And uh, expenses were 130, 1 million, 191,000. And so the money that we are left with to construct the Church of God is 104 million, 380. 500 shillings. We look forward to another concert next year, which is coming, and we pray that all of us are alive to support the same. Thank you so much. Thank you, my sister Allen, for the report. Church, what do you say? Amen. Amen. We need to give thanks to God that has enabled you and me to be part of the construction of Kampala Central Church. Dear visitors, that's the church that KCC is constructing with our brethren from Kampala Bowanguzi. And so we had this item for the last uh, few months. We are very busy organizing, arranging, putting things together. And we want to thank you so much, church, for your participation into this. And uh, the good thing, we have a surplus. I want to thank Elder Nachivinge and team that uh, purpose that this report is being able to be read to the church. May God bless you, the team. Uh, dear church members, come next year, 2023, the ambassadors of Christ will be coming back about the same. And this time we need to work more harder. We need to look, we need to look at the challenges possibly that we got and then pick lessons learned so that we are able to achieve the best out of this event. And I want to thank every one of you for this kind of participation. And may God richly bless you as we think of other strategies to see that we have the church stand. I want to call the, the, uh, the secretary of the nomination committee to come on. Dear church, as we come close to the year 2022, uh, we had a business meeting that nominated the nominating, nominating committee and this committee has been engaged for the last one month, I suppose. And today they are going to do, I think, the final reading. 
yes, and uh, I request that you listen to the, uh, to the Secretary of uh, the Nominating Committee. May God bless you. Happy Sabbath, Church. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. And I'm so glad that we have been in this together. And I can't thank you enough for your feedback. And I can assure you, as I assured you last week, each and every concern that was raised, we took it with much care, sensitivity, and urgency. Just be assured. And we glorify God for coming out, members, and say, here it would have been like this. May God bless you abundantly. Yeah, on a special note, I also want to invite the nominating committee members just to stand up for recognition. Uh, these members have really worked. Sometimes they go home after 11. And I want to thank you, the spouses, for Enduring up to this end for the betterment of our church. May God bless you abundantly. Can you stand up the nominating committee? God bless you abundantly. Yeah. Uh, and before I read, maybe one thing that was a request next week, we are going to have the dedication as we plan, kindly also think about it. It is going to be two years from 2023 to 2024. Before I read the names, kindly let us pray. Father, I want to thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your care and thank you for this great commission that you assigned us. We are just human. We have weaknesses. But we glorify the, you this far you have brought us. Not as alone, even the church members who are involved to know that the church is moving in the right direction. Bless each and every one. And we pray for each and every one that is going to serve and those who are not going to serve kindly. Also, let them know that God's work is voluntary and they are open to serve everywhere. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. I should admit we really received overwhelming request to serve, but friends... Uh, we were also worn out, and we didn't know what to do. But as you know, church work is voluntary. I don't need to be elected to be a deaconess to serve. So feel free, when there is need, involve yourself. Yeah, thank you so much. So I'll begin. I'll begin with elders. Paul Mugabe. Oh, just a reminder, when I read your name, you will stand up. Thank you so much. Mugabe Paul, Head, Nilimansi Elijah, Singh Milka, Sebunjo Derek, Mukokoma Enoch, Sekaja Martin, Stuasi J. Amon, Ziwa Eria, Nachivinge Wilson, Bileti Ronald, Muganza Foster, Benda Katali, Atuhaire Elisha, Semko Herbert, Baleta Keith, Luwaga Samson, Bazara John, Lumbuya Dennis, Seruwa Jupiter, Bavuma Frank, Mugabe Nicholas, Golala Moses, Boza Johnson, Sentongo Robert, Kato Joseph, Muigwa Sol, Buka Ajoga, Kamgasha George, Aloro Robert. Friends, those are the elders. God bless you. You can have a seat. Deaconary Department, I'll begin with deacons. Seremba Gerald Head, Kimoti Hillary, Okelo Robin, Shivuka Muhammad, Seba Sole Joseph Kato, Mwaya Samson, Gadisa Gemachu, Wambale Walter, Winza Isaac, Kato Paul, Tempo Isaac, Mwezi Boni, Tegule Ambrose, Seruma Gabili, Kazova Lawrence, Serunguma Bruno. Deacons, please, if I've read your name, kindly stand up. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we have Kablengwa, the Sabbath school. Today I'm including the Sabbath school. We have Kablengwa deacons, Magembe Sharif, head, Winsor Isaac, uh, Winsor Edison, Nwagaba Moses.
You may not see them this week, but next week, by God's grace, you will see them. Children, deaconesses, we, deacons, we have Jeremiah Chimba, Caleb Ndizeye, Waswa Mugambwa. Children, deaconesses, Wambui Princess, Nakato Nanozi, Naluada Abigai. Deaconesses, Odora Anhead, Wakisakaro, Wanyana Allen, Mubiru Priscilla, Kasubo Robina, Namtevi Karo, Namtevi Lydia, Odur Fiona, Asimo Estela, Nabugweri Justin, Namtevi Rachel, Ahumza Penina, Olupot Josephine, Sisi Namba, Namtevi Esther, Fasila Console, Muhwezi Ingrid, Atkunda Claire, Chichonjo Bridget, thank you, Chichonjo Bridget, Nachimera Betty, Moderi Aileen and Wamalwa Juliet, Deaconesses. Thank you very much. Saba School, Kablengwa Deaconesses, we have Kwagala Ruth as head, Nalugo Hasfa and Asimwe Masi. Treasury Department, Winnie Kalansi head, assisted by Leah Zisharon, Kalule Viola, Kamia Edward, Kasozi Arthur. Treasury Department. Thank you so much. Sabaskul, Kablengwa Saba School Treasury Department consists of Sharif Magembe and Jita Cleave. Church Clerk. We have Mugabe Irene as head, assisted by Kabagweri Jen and Seruga Lydia. Thank you. Kablengwa Saba School Church uh, Clerk. We have Kawesi Grace as head assisted by Mutagubia Jonathan. <coughs> Music director, Tosi Jejaki. Kablengwa Saba School, we have Ruhanga Nathan, Okelo Esther as assistant, Ruboa Jonah, John, I mean. Thank you. Our music director, is Jackie around? Thank you so much. We have choir masters, Lufa Panua, Batin Hatangimana as assistant. Are those members around? Thank you so much. Youth choir leadership, we have Chikanga Jonathan Head, assisted by Muhumza Edward. Are they around? Thank you so much. Children choir trainers, Ziwa Eria, Lufa Panua. Are they around? Okay. Church choristers, Hirwa Jackson Head, Odora Jonathan, Agaba Ibrahim, Simbi Martin, Bonabana Aaron, Nachinga Allen, Kayaga Juliana, Namakula Ruth, Chikanga jo Jonathan, Nasolo Teddy, Chitamirike Emma, Busulwa Ruben, Bileti Daniela, Kizi Trisha, Semko Rachel. Yes. Thank you so much. We can have a seat. Kablengwa, in this, in still in Choristers, we have Kwagala Ruth as head, Nakawesi Jovia, and Okelo Samuel. Okelo Samuel, Nuagaba Moses. Pianist, rock organist, we have Senyonga Eric as head, Chibumbo Isaac, Kate Baleta, Semfuka Joshua, Chiseche Jesse, Rufa Fanua, Zereko Abraham. Members, if you are around, kindly stand up. Yeah, thank you so much. Church choir members, I'll begin with Bess, Lufa Fanua, Sefuka Joshua, Hatangi Manabatin, Hirwa Jackson, Agaba Derek, Wabiaka David, Irankunda Stephen, Odora Jonathan, Chitaiwa Enoch, Dukutse Nobat, Chinarwa Nicholas, Kenga Kelvin, Mugoya Mark, Chivatala John. Bessas, are we around? Yes, I've seen he was seated. Thank you. Tena, we have Baleta Kate, Katumba Alan, Tuksoka Ronald, Katali Jr., Muhasa Wilson, Chisamirike Emma, Kalule Rogers, Tracy J. Amon, Liaz Ruben, Ziwa Eria, Sambija Edwin, Bethwell Michael, Chintu Samuel. 
Tena. My elder here is in Tena, Elder Keith. Thank you very much. We can have a seat. Soprano, Shirabo Judith, Nakaima Grace, Nachimuli Esther, Awara Rachel, Mgonja Victoria, Namlondo Miriam, Rubaiza Sarah, Baleta Rachel, Semko Rachel, Bira Janet, Nanube Garut, Masereka Sharon, Arnaitwe Lea, Mwonge Emily, Limbu Analisa, Nirabaizi Eliana, Nanyondo Joanita, Chitaka Maureen, Semanda Hoziana, Senyonga Rebecca, Namubiru Rebecca, Walgembe Rachel, Nachivinge Rachel, Nishimwe Godlib. Thank you. Sopranos, are we around? Thank you so much. God bless you. Also, Nachiranda Irene, Chitaka Veronica, Kitui Jemima, Dozire Susan, Muhindo Jen, Mukavia Benita, Ojuka Nelly Santos, Kayaga Juliana, Ahisha Kie Emma, Odora Kezia, Nanono Jen, Solanji Tusime, Chigundu Stella, Tuesi Jejaki, Mushayuma Daniele, Muganza Hoziana, Najuna Masi, Tuksoka Proskovia, Kanyunyuzi Rosette. Thank you so much. God bless you. Church auditors, Muhirwe Sara, assisted by Kulabako Sara. Our Sara Zawi in the room. Thank you. Saba School, Ivule Ian Head, assisted by Chisacha Timothy, Wabiyaka David, Wanabana Aaron as secretary. Thank you so much. Some are behind. Uh, the Saba School Department of Kabulengwa consists of Okelo Samuel as head, assisted by Semambo Peter, Chisomba Wilberforce, Ruboa John. Personal Ministries, Bileti Helen Head, Wanyana Allen, Wamalwa Juliet as secretary. Thank you. Uh, these, uh, the personal ministries uh, department for Kabulengwa consists of Okelo Samuel, Semambo Peter, and Chisomba Wil Wil Wilberforce, and Luboa John. Health ministries, Dr. Mpeka Boris Head, Dr. Asaba Charity Assistant, Kemirembe Justin Assistant. Are we around? Okay, thank you. Uh, the Kablengwa Health Ministry consists of Posa Nancy, Ashaba Angel, and Kawesi Grace. Communication stroke PA department will be led by Juguna Jacob, uh, assisted by Rubama Moses, PA department, Najuna James, assistant communication department. The same department in Kablengwa will be led by Kawesi Grace as head and assisted by Mutaguvia Jonathan. The communication team consists of Okuja Joshua, Kabajimo Rebecca, Chisembo Solomon, Tanga Jonathan, Elobu Daniel, Magona Caleb, Masereka Felix, Mumbere Johnson, Odora Joshua, Wambale Elisha, Nimsima Aberesa, Muhumza Edward, Viringiro Manyefiki, Koksima Ruth, Ayesigwa Blessing. Uh, most of them are here, some are on those machines. Procurement Department, Businge Richard Head, Seka Sala Simon Assistant, and Mugenyi Stephen Assistant too. Are we around? Okay, thank you. Family Life Department, Mr. and Mrs. Mukokoma Head, assisted by Mr. and Mrs. Agaba Derrick. Well, the same department in Kablengwa will be led by Mr. and Mrs. Mboza Johnson. Thank you. Welfare Department, Ruby Hayo Elliot Head, uh, Hope Mabwa Secretary, Team Members Aloro Robert, Batsemera Sandra, Muwezi Jimmy, Tumsime Alex. Are we around? Thank you. Welfare Department in Kablengwa, Jita Glyph, Okelo Esther, Magembe Sharif, Kawesi Grace, Dembe Gertrude. Worship Department, 
Nilimanzi Elijah Head, Juguna Stella, Mwaya Lilian, Kato Joseph, Simbi Martin, Seru Wajib Alexandria, Babilia Fatuma. As a, those are our sisters. Are we around? <laughs> Thank you so much. We can have a seat. Women Ministries, Sentongo Jemima Head, assisted by Sam Korecho. Are we around? Sam Ministry in Kablengwa will be led by Chotiwe Grace, Luboa Dokas, Dembe Gertrude. Adventist men, Kabogoza George Head, assisted by Mugenyi Stephen. Are we around? Okay, thank you. Uh, same department in Kabulengwa will be led by Luboa John, yeah. youth department. Kabulengwa youth directors we have Semambo Peter's head, assisted by Dembe Hapat. Youth department young adults, Kalansi John Alex head, assisted by Rukundo Winnie. Are we around? Thank you. Pathfinder Club will be led by Maiga Alex, assisted by Luwama Moses. Are we around? Thank you so much. Public Campus Ministry Stroke Amicus will be led by Teddy Mbavazi. Is she around? Ambassadors Club, Odora Jonathan. Thank you. Adventurers Club, Mugamba Jackie Head. Assisted by Muhammad Chiria, Mugiria, and Moiti Brenda. Are we around? Thank you so much. Interest coordinators, Kwesi Gaspenza Head, assisted by Impatude Charity. Okay, thank you. Kavlengwa, the department will be led by Dembe Habat. Assisted by Okelo Samuel. Stewardship. Walgembe Rachel Head. Assisted by Seka Jastella. Oh, okay. I'm not seeing her at her usual seat. Special needs. Yiga Beatriz Nachibuka Head. Assisted by Sobia Sey. Thank you so much. Children's Department will be led by Kaiwa Sara, assisted by Tamale Sara, Farida Wensier. Children's Teachers, Muwezi Ingrid, Lusingize Ruth, Chiranda Mimi, Seruma Gabili, Maiga Alex, Nachibu Kalois, Wakisa Karo, Mkokoma Mary, Atuhaire Oliver, Chigundu Stella, Sebunjo Derek, Juguna Jacob, Kimoti Hilari, Kwesiga Spencer, Seka Jastela, Mugenyi Gertrude, Sebunjo Diana, George Kamugasha Jr., Birunji Martha, Aloro Joan, Mugabi Irene, and Kunda Jackie. Do we have them in the room? Thank you so much. You can have a seat. Kablengwa, children teachers, we have Okelo Esther, Ruhanga Fiona, Namle Majoyce, Muinza Edison, those are, that is the team. Bible School will be led by Nakato Farida. Senior Citizens Coordinators, we have, oh, before I move ahead, Nakato Farida, kindly forgive me. Thank you. Senior Citizens Coordinators, we have Kabogoza George, assisted by Seruwaji Alexandria. Yes. Thank you so much. Security Department, Kutagwa Jackson Head, assisted by Okelo Robin, Kabagweri Jen. Security. Okay, thank you. Development Department will be led by Kagumire Abel as head, assisted by Walgembe Rachel. Development Team. Thank you. Christian Education will be headed by Mkokoma Mary, assisted by Wabiaka David. Thank you so much. Guiding and Counseling, 
Bisheko Grace Head, assisted by Nyerimanzi Elijah. Thank you so much. Publishing Department, Nachibuka Lois Head, assisted by Iga Beatrice. Thank you. Chaplaincy Department will be led by Hope Kunihira, assisted by Lodu Antoni. That is the end of our reading, and that marks the end of receiving any complaints. I want to assure you, after this, I'm handing off officially to the church board. God bless you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Sister Julie, for the minutes of what transpired during that time of nomination, and want to thank the team that took a lot of time into this activity and may God bless the team that God has chosen to serve for 2023-2024. May God bless you. Um, this is the what we've able this is what we've been able to raise from the power of ten. We've been able to raise four hundred and twenty thousand eight hundred eight hundred. Four hundred and twenty thousand eight hundred. May God bless you and have a blessed worship. Good morning, church. Uh, good morning and happy Sabbath. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a few announcements to emphasize. But before I do that, today being the 17th day of December 2022, I want to first emphasize this. I, I would like to have these three stand in the congregation for a special announcement. Uh, Irene Mugabe, uh, Jane Kawagwere, and Lydia Seruga. Please, if you are here, may you stand? I am more conscious of the time, but I have to do this. I can see one. Do we have Jane Kawagwere with us in the church? And Lydia Seruga. I can only see one. Uh, perhaps the other ones are not around, or oh, my eyes can't see them because of these lights. But for you, who is a representative, you can remain standing. I will be the one to say you sit. Church, uh, in Ugandan. English dictionary, uh, there is a, con a conjunction added to a pronoun and a verb. Uh, this word is a conjunction, you may call it a conditional clause, which is if, and then a pronoun is you, a verb is no. Now, these three, the two are repeated. So they say, if you know. Uh, in Ugandan English, if you know, you know. Okay, you can see it now. So now, uh, these three are our church clerk, not church clerks, but they are the church clerk for the next two years. I want to emphasize this and that I am so grateful for the opportunity we have had previously to serve, and I want to thank God for the three powerful ladies. They are all ladies. And with time, we will see all of them here. I'm so grateful to God that uh, today, the 17th December of 2022, I am in Kampara, you know. Uh, again, if you know, you know. That is done. Now, we will quickly go through our special announcements. And the youth corner uh, informs the church that today at 4.30, we have a presentation uh, entitled the factors hindering youth participation in church ministry and how to address them. The presenter is Pastor Charles Magembe. Kindly be there at Youth Corner for 30 this afternoon. We will now uh, church uh, read our wedding bells.
Basheja Jr., son of Mr. and Mrs. Musingus Godfrey of Nyanga 1, Kamwenge District, wishes to be joined together into holy matrimony with Nakaziwa Shamim, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Thuribageni Alon of Kisowera, Mukono District, on the first day of January, first day of January, 2023 at the Najanankumbi SDA Church. Uh, if there is anyone with a genuine reason why the two should not be joined together into whole matrimony, kindly make this known, and if there is none, forever remain silent and wish the two a happy and fruitful marriage. Church, what do we say? Amen. Amen. Thank you. And next is Mukasa Japheth Banga, son of Mr. and Mrs. Samugab Samuel Badiaita, Bachaita of Najanankumbi Kampara District wishes to be joined together into holy matrimony with Bamute and Gloria, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Sempewa Chiyimba Tony of Gayaza Wakiso District on the 28th day of December 2022 at Najanankumbi Church. Uh, time shall be 12 noon. Uh, this is the, first, it is the last reading. If there is anyone with a genuine reason why the two should not be joined together into holy matrimony, kindly make this known to the church authorities. And if there is none, forever remain silent and wish them a happy and fruitful marriage. Church, what do we say? Amen. Amen. Thank you. So we shall use now this time to welcome our guests. And church, uh, if I read your name, a guest, may you stand and the church will welcome you in a special way. The first guest in this book is Kisaka Masi from Natete and she says happy Sabbath. Kindly if you are with us, may you stand and we acknowledge you. Church, what do we say? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have your seat. We have Mutoni Anita from Tungamo. She says happy Sabbath as well. Mutoni, are you with us? We have Kakoza Isaac, Kakoza Ismail from Mutukura. He says happy Sabbath. Thank you for coming. We have Ellen Pitura from Kilumba, Mwanza, Tanzania. Happiest Sabbath to all. Can we see Ellen P. Mutura? Thank you, thank you so much for coming and Kalibu Sana. We do have Florence Meso from Kirumba Mwanza, same place. Florence, Kalibu Sana. Church, what do we say? Amen, thank you. We have Bamange Timothy from Ginger Central Church. Uh, he says happy Sabbath. Church, what do we say? Amen, thank you. We have Shemera Bigabo uh, from Usa River, Arusha, Tanzania, I suppose. And he says, uh, says, she said, Happy Sabbath. Thank you, thank you for coming. May you have your seat. Uh, we have Tabula Charis from Buroba, and he says, Happy Sabbath. Charis from Buroba, what do we say, church? Amen, Amen thank you. We do have Namugeni Sophia from Bulaga, and it says Jesus is coming back. Church, what do we say? Amen. We have Serwada Erickson from Makere University. Happy to be here. Praise the Lord. Erickson? Yes, thank you. Church, what do we say? Seated at the back. Uh, we do have Mugerwa Stephen from Chicago SDA Church says, good hospitality, God loves you so much. Wow. Church, what do we say? Amen. Amen. Good hospitality, Kampara Central Church. Thank you. We do have Chitimbo Lillian from Mukono Central Church and says, happy Sabbath. Lillian from Mukono Central Church, yes. What do we say? Thank you. We have Ainesasi Jotham from Najanankumbi SDA. 
Joseph, yes. Uh, what do we say, church? Amen. Uh, we have evangelist Mutua, Mutualume Peter from Mubende SDA Church. Evangelist Peter, uh, what do we say, church? Amen. Amen. And he says, Maranatha. Jesus is coming soon. Thank you. And we do still have Peter, Peter Ongang, Peter Ongang, Onganga from Kisti, Kenya. Peter, you are here with us. Thank you so much. Karibu sana. Uh, we do have Molo Kenyi from Arua Central Church. Amen. Thank you. We have Bira Zam from Rugendabara Central Church, Kasese. Amen. Thank you. And he says, God is good. God is good. Now, finally, we have these four special guests. And these four, when I read you, they are non Adventists, I am informed. Kindly, if I read your name, just come here. We have a special, a special gift for you. And if we have other non Adventists who uh, have not indicated their names in this book, kindly come here. Uh, our first elder will hand over the gift to you. The first non Adventist guest we have here is Okwera Rudolph from Odek, Odek Catholic Church. Says, Blessed to be here. Kindly, Okwera, come and receive. May you come and receive. Just come. Come up front and receive your gift. Uh, we do have Erum Kasegi from Busoga, Iganga. Please do come and receive your gift if you are here with us. Uh, uh, we do have uh, Nabukonde Farasida from Makerere. Please come for your gift. And we have Arroyo Winnie from Makerere as well. Please do come and receive your gift. If we have any other guests who is not Adventist, please come. We have a gift for you. Just come. Come up front. We have a gift for you. Nana Adventist who is here with us who has not registered your name with us. Please come and receive a gift from the first elder of the best church in the town. As I invite the chorister, as I invite the chorister to welcome us in worship, I want to welcome Mrs. Bavuma in a special way. I have seen you somewhere. I want to bless you in a special way. And say, chorister. Kampala. We are happy to receive you. God bless you.
our call to worship will come from the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 18, verses 19 and 20. Chapter 18, verses 19 and 20. Matthew 18, verse 19. I will read 19, you read 20. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. I'm there in the midst of them. Amen. to thank you Lord for the special opportunity you have given us to meet on this Sabbath day but I pray that you may speak to each one of us to be united for your cause in this realm of prayer through Jesus Christ our Savior Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy day. Happy day. Yeah, um, I want to take this privilege to welcome you all in this uh, blessed day. It's a bright and a blessed Sabbath morning, and we are gathered here to worship our Lord. In a special way, I want to first welcome our host, Kampara Central Church members. Praise God. Amen. Our dear visitors, you're most welcome at Kampara Central Church. Uh, if you are here and if it is your first time to be here or maybe to or third time, uh, it's, it's uh, my advice that you find it in your plan to be part of this uh, mighty team, Kampara Central Church. So you're welcome at Campus Central Church. If you're a visitor, if you're a guest, uh, you're welcome and you can always be part of us at Campus Central Church. Everyone is always welcome 
and I want in a special way to thank uh, uh, people who are welcoming us, starting with deacons and deaconesses. They are doing a mighty work to ensure that uh, we are at least in a clean and tidy place of worship. We thank God. Uh, in a special way, I want to welcome the choristers and the organists for the work you're doing through music. The music is a blessing in our lives. We long to come here. Personally, what converted me to this church was not a sermon. It was music. So, just know that what you're doing has an impact in people's lives. And so, I want to thank you. Today, it's a, a zone emphasis Sabbath. Zone, Kampala Central Zone uh, is here with us and uh, for emphasis. And for that sense, uh, on that note, I want to thank God for that opportunity that we have a team from the zone who are visiting with us. And specifically, it is the communication department that is hosting the zone team. And that's why you see the communication team uh, in the church of uh, the day. I want to thank my team, they are young boys and girls with the, uh, wonderful skills and determination. I'm convinced that uh, this church is growing from power to power. Because when I see the determination of this young generation and the skills they are applying uh, in the service, uh, there is no doubt that God is with us. So I thank you, communication team, for the work you're doing. Our head communication, that is the brother Edward Muhumza, was operated yesterday, is not with us. And so I pray that he, you put him in your prayers uh, as you pray. So my name is Tracy J. Amon. Tracy J. Amon um, have been serving as elder in charge of communication for the last two years. And I want to thank God for that opportunity and the church for supporting us. Uh, at Kampala Central Zone, I had the legal department, which was recently created. So I'm also an official from Zone. Amen? Yes, I want to thank God for that opportunity and privilege as well. At the Zone level, I serve with my first elder, uh, Edda Paul, you're welcome. At uh, the zone level, still we serve with Edda Nachiwinge. Is he around? Yes, he's also at the zone. Uh, our pastor, Pastor Chigundu, who is not with us today, uh, and the, our district pastor. Uh, it's a mighty team that I believe is representing you so well. That's why uh, the other officials have also made it a point to be here. And I'm taking this chance, uh, if I introduce the zone officers, let me introduce the, uh, the other officers we are serving with from communication department. Extreme, this is the left, all right. Extreme left, that is building low. Building low, magnifique, uh, commonly known as Bill. Uh, is in communication and is doing well. He's always on that camera or the other one. Thank you, Bill, uh, for serving God. Uh, extreme end, the only lady in the team is called Kabajimu Rebecca. Kabajimu Rebecca, uh, she's a young lady working in communication as well, uh, very hard working and skilled. Thank you, Becky, for the work you're doing in the house of the Lord. Uh, both of them uh, just like that. But <laughs> Yes. So, there is no one they have left behind. So they are complete like that. I think uh, 
they can do work something. Yeah. Because me, I have the beautiful one. She's right there in front of me. Mrs. Uh, TOCJ, you can wave. That is the one. Thank you so much for supporting me. Yeah. Now, here again, I have with me is Dr. Lukwago Moses. You can wave to the church doctor. Dr. Lukwago Moses comes to us from Kampala Central Zone. Uh, he's a member of Uganda local church. That is under Nansana district. But at the zone level, he's the head of men. Men, where are we? Yes. Your head is here. Our head is here. Thank you, Edda, for coming and to worship with us today. Uh, he's a lecturer at Makere and Bogema University. Uh, with him and uh, with us is our main speaker. And the Lord has blessed us to have Elder Mkwaya. Elder Mkwaya comes from Kampala Central, uh, Kampala Central Zone. Kampala Central Zone, he's a uh, head of education. And uh, his, uh, and his um, um, other lives, he serves with Bugema University. Right? As a human resource manager. So, human resource, those who have gone to look for jobs, you know the importance of those men. But this day, this very day, is basically doing the resource management in the house of the Lord. Thank you, Elder, for coming. And uh, both of them are married. Yeah. And the uh, Eda Mukwaya specifically with two, three children, right? Amen. To one wife with two children. We praise God and thank God for coming. Uh, in the afternoon, don't forget members turn, uh, uh, turn up. We shall have questions and answers uh, because there is uh, much more to share with us about the Kampala Central Zone, but much more to benefit us as members, especially in the field of financial freedom and independence. This is a central theme of Kampala Central Zone. At the zone level, we are focusing at the individual financial independence. Above all, your spirituality, somewhere, somehow, has so much to do with how you're doing financially. So... That's why we believe that our financial independence is a key factor that we need to emphasize as a zone. Thank you so much. May God bless you and may his love and peace be upon all of you as we go through the worship. Be blessed.
can we humble ourselves, glorify our Lord, find where we can kneel down for a word of prayer and thanksgiving. Our admit our friend Edward Muhumuza, who has operated on and is at the doctor's hospital. He's the leader of communication. Come and be with him and heal him with him so that he can continue serving you. We are here coming to glorify your name. We commit into your hands the preacher of the day. Come and be with him. Speak through him so that at the end of the day we may not remain the same but be prepared for your second coming. We commit your church beginning with Kampala Central Church continuing with the church in Uganda and in the world as a whole. We commit the leadership of the church into thy hand. Be with the leaders from the top, that is the general conference, down to the local church, so that you can lead your church so that, such that at the end of it all, when you bring back your kingdom, we will emerge victorious. We pray for our nation, right from the president down to the local council, Give them the wisdom, the understanding that they need to lead this country peacefully so that we can continue worshiping you. Be with us in everything that we will be, do, we will be doing today so that at the end of, of the day, your name will be glorified. For we come and praise you and worship you through Jesus Christ our Happy Sabbath Church. I welcome you once again to, to today's worship and it is time again for us to give back to God through our tithes and offerings. As the, I'll ask the deacons and deaconesses to take their positions as the church is reading from Mark chapter 12 verse 41 to 44. Mark 12 41 to 44 as Levy family is also preparing to come and minister to the Lord and the deaconary team is taking that turn. As Jesus sat near the temple treasury, he watched the people as they dropped in their money. Many rich men dropped in a lot of money. Then a poor widow came along and dropped in two little copper coins worth about a penny. He called his disciples together and said to them, I tell you that, this poor widow put more in the offering box than all the others. For the others put in what they had to spare of their riches, but she, poor as she is, put in all she had. She gave all she had to live on. May God bless us all as we're giving back to him wholeheartedly. Shall we pray? Almighty Loving Father in heaven, as we are going to give back to you, dear Lord, bless us and speak to us to give accordingly. This is a humble prayer in Jesus' name. My hallelujah belongs to you. My 
Just a boat God's touch through heaven. I couldn't find one willing to be. That's a My soul would be 
kind and loving father in heaven thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to come before you today thank you so much for enabling us to give back in tithes and offering to you dear lord we pray that you accept our tithes and offerings to do your work to preach the message to many and take the gospel throughout the whole world bless us all this sabbath and as we go back through the week to Hassan Basso, dear Lord, give us a blessing so that on Sabbath day we may come back and still give back to you and give glory and honor to your name. This is a humble prayer in Jesus' name. Happy Sabbath, church. Happy Sabbath, church. Maranatha. Jesus is coming back. Uh, I will invite uh, youth choir to come up front uh, for a special item as we read our scripture reading from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. Oh. I'll read with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love. I repeat, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with, an an with one another in love. May the Lord bless you.
God is good. God is good. And all the time. Sometimes we recite it as just a slogan. But I want to assure you, my friend, this afternoon. It is by God's grace that you can afford to sit in this place. So you should sow it louder with a smile on your face to mean it. God is good. That is not loud enough. God is good. And all the time. The Lord is good, and that is his nature. Wow. My brother and sister, the difference between your life and death is as small and even smaller than a threat. So when you say that God is good all the time, and that's his nature. Well, it should be from the bottom of your heart. Amen? I bring you greetings from Central Kampala Zone. I bring you warm greetings from SDA Wakiso Church District. I bring you greetings from SDA Church Kayunga Wakiso. I bring you warm greetings 
from my family. Praise God. I'm happy to stand before you. Sure, I've been introduced. My name is Mukwaya Ronald. I'm married to one wife, a female. Yes. You know, at one time I got shocked. I was greeting a gentleman and he shouted at me, Stop embarrassing me. I'm somebody's wife. I was saying, Good morning, sir. So I'm married to one wife and a female. And God has blessed us with three children. It is important that those who come to the pulpit, you introduce yourself fully. You know, oftentimes there are those who are searching and they happen to move to different churches. And deep inside, they may be praying that, Lord, let it be the preacher. So as you are preaching, the fellow is also busy praying. God is somehow answering my prayers. No, I'm married. And I've been married for the last 18 years. Amen? We want to thank Central Kampala Church for giving us this opportunity of promoting, of sensitizing, of encouraging each one of us to come on board as we promote this strategy where each one of us will be involved and our theme, our goal. Yes, such a town church, it may be a little bit hard to get the true members. Why? Whoever comes around town may be asking for the church which is nearby and congregates from such a place. Then there are those who may wish to move around all the churches around town. So, I want to thank the members of this church. Amid is your tight schedule to allow us to have this Sabbath, where we shall remind ourselves of our responsibility, of our obligation in promoting this arrangement. Ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon, in the few means that we have, we are going to share a sermonette I've entitled United in Jesus Christ for our work. United in Jesus Christ for our work. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Thank you for the gift of life you have accorded to each one of us. Thank you for the eyes. Thank you for the ears. Thank you for the strong bodies that can sit patiently on the would-be hard seats. Thank you for the reminder that we are meant to leave the comfort of our homes and get here. Now, Lord, I pray that you may touch the noise in our minds, the noise of fatigue, the noise of sleep, the noise of our phones, any sort of noise, that we may listen to you when you're speaking to us. Thank you, Lord, for your father prayer through Jesus Christ, our Savior. They have read to us our key text from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4 and verse 2. In my version, it says, Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Ladies and gentlemen, children of God, always be humble. The church has come up with a series of strategies 
to ensure that we improve our status as a church. If you are to go into the details of this arrangement, you are aware that we have one union mission. That is Uganda Union Mission. And when you go into the details of the one Uganda Union Mission, you'll discover that it comes with a lot of limitations. Whereas, when you compare with our immediate neighbors, Kenya and Tanzania, they have more than one union. In Uganda, so far, we have one conference. One conference. And then we have so far several fields. But still you will discover that as we have one conference and several fields, we are limping. You will discover that when it comes to numbers, in terms of population, the beauty with the town church, as we are speaking, they are googling. You will discover that the number of SDAs, we are very few. And because we are very few, even our impact is limited. That's why a few of us out there can able to shout that, oh yes, I'm an SDA. Often times, we bend our heads and we get swallowed up. Go in the cabinet. How many cabinet ministers do we have? How many state ministers go to parliament, come down to your local area C1? When they happen to invite you, you shy away. Now, as far as the numbers are concerned, we are quite few. Why are we few? It's not because we don't have the resources. No. But at times, we have not come out to do it as a united team. This afternoon, I'm here to remind ourselves about Central Kampala Zone. Central Kampala Zone was created as a strategy by the church administration to ensure that you and me, we actively get involved in doing God's work, which is our work, because that is the mission that has been left before us. Friends, we may specialize in our professions out there, but surely you know that whatever the struggles in this world, they are going to end in this world. It's only that noble work of ministering that shall count at the end of the day. Amen? As we were singing our opening song, it was encouraging us to stand up, stand up for Jesus. And we are being referred to as soldiers. Soldiers of the cross who are not fighting with guns, but fighting for the word of God. To win souls, to save people, to bring them closer to their Lord. In this world full of trouble, in this world full of challenges, in this world full of stressors, As an elder of the church, I've come to appreciate those who happen to sleep in church. Amidst the loudspeakers, amidst the shouting, 
you'll see someone deep asleep. Why? Because that individual has been scratched six days of the week, Sunday to Friday. Little wonder, you can hardly raise such a number when you're here to welcome the Sabbath. Why? People are still struggling. You may not blame them. Yes, as an elder, I've reminded my friends that out of the liturgy, you can hardly live out collecting the tithe and offerings. That members, we are late in the interest of time. Let us leave that one out and we go for the sermon. So the church needs the money. And people must hunt for the money. And bring that money to do God's work. Amen? Yes, you'll appreciate that people are tired. That even shouting amen, you must remind them. And you say, shout louder, amen. Amen. Shout louder, amen. Amen. Wave to the Lord. Amen. They are tired. Shout to the Lord, amen. amen. Shout to the Lord, amen. amen. Yes. They shout, they come pull away. Amen. Friend of mine, Central Kampala Zone is in place as a strategy to bring the following church districts on board. Kampala A, Kampala B, Maganjo, Makerere, Masulita, Matuga, Nansana, and Wakiso. And we have a slogan, one team, one dream. When I shout, one team, you respond, one dream. One team. One team. Come on, shout it louder. One team. One, team. one, dream. one dream. That's our slogan. Now, it cannot be a team, not until you are part and partial of that team. It's not one group. A group is always disorganized. But a team has a common purpose. A team has those areas where they must agree. And among them is being humble. Being humble. The moment you are humble, surely you will squarely fit into that team. And you know the opposite of failure to be a humble what? Person. I want to thank the youth choir for committing yourselves into worshiping the Lord. There are a number of youths out there. Right now they are sleeping, waiting for darkness to come, and then they show touch. You have been singing when I'm trying to follow the sermon that was in that music. I want to appreciate my counsel who said that for him he got converted out of the sermons that were translated through music. It must have been meaningful music. Yes, today there are those who will sing and you wonder, what are they singing about? Say, that guy is hot. And the singer will come up with a strong name. Mad guy on the stage. Put up your hands for mad guy. And they clap for mad guy. Others, their names are scaring rotten rats. Now the youth were singing very good music. We had the serving family with a special choir. You remember the bass? Yeah. The guy could pull the bass. He could pull the bass. Say, yeah. Sing for the Lord. Shout out. Hada. May God bless you. What of you? 
word of you. It is the very reason that we have this zone that you come on board. Friend of mine, you hasn't been that lucky to go to these rural churches. You know, here we mention districts. But in these districts, there are those humble churches. Some of them are congregating under the trees. Some of the structures are almost getting down. Some of the seats are on gate set. Then you say, I cannot go to such a church. It can even damage my soul. I mean, I cannot. Some of them lack such a nice floor. But when we work as a team, we can't spread God's work in such places. We can't do God's work in such places. There are those who are missing out on the statistics. Kampala or Central Kampala Zone has 60 church boards, 58 companies, 68 Sabbath schools, with a total population of 20,590 members. Now, in terms of tithe return per capita, it is 6,540. We have 26 finished and furnished churches. I don't know where you belong because our church is still there in the big dream. Maybe we have the furniture. We are yet to transfer inside that church. And you know how church members would love the freedom. Then another team in the master bedroom. Now the preacher in the corridor. Now you may not feel the pinch when in such a spaced place. Now attending from such a church, it calls for being humble. Attaining such a structure, it calls for being patient. I was happy when I saw Professor Gorola. And I was told that he's one of those people who have been in this place for a number of years. So he can able to tell us how this place started. Now it takes him a lot of the spirit of being humble to keep around. Possibly he will be looking for his folks, his peers, other professors. Then you start giving a direction. Are you going to the other church of professors? It takes a lot of humbleness for someone to spare time to interpret for our friends who may not be following. It takes humbleness for you to pay attention. There are those who switch off as soon as they see the preacher. Because possibly their mind is telling them that the preacher must be a giant man. Yes, a number of tall guys have stood here before. So someone is eager to see, what is the preacher? What is the preacher? You mean there's a preacher? Let me sleep. I'm so tired. Praise God that you are awake. Amen? Friend of mine, Central Kampala Church, operates under that theme of 2020-2025, GC, Uganda Union Mission, Central Uganda Conference, and Kampala Central Zone, I'll go. And we have those strategic plan focus areas. One is that of the Holy Spirit. In whatever we do, we should be led by the Holy Spirit. The beauty with the SBA church, we don't wait for the Holy Spirit to come. The way others would wish, 
So now let us pray and then the Holy Spirit descends. For us, the moment you get to church, you know that the Spirit is there with you and it is the Holy Spirit that guides your day-to-day -day activities. If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, you wouldn't be here. As you keep on maturing, you come to appreciate the work of the Holy Spirit in you. And I pray that always you keep on praying for the Holy Spirit, not to discern, not to move, not to let you go. Each one of us is capable of making a name the negative way as long as the Holy Spirit is not there. Mission. What is your mission? What is my mission? What is our mission? Our mission comes out of the great commission in Matthew 28. Go and preach to all nations. Go and spread the gospel to all nations. And gospel, not gossip. It is gospel, not gossip. Sometimes we gossip. Spiritual growth. How do you tell someone who has grown up spiritually? Now assess yourself. Are you stunted as an individual? Or you are growing. What happens on Sabbath after lunch? Would you love to commune with the brothers and sisters? Or immediately after the sermon, you disappear. And when you disappear, where do you go? Where do you rush to? As you're getting out of church, where are you going? There is this demon of the phones. Yes, we bring our phones because there we have uploaded our Bibles. But as you are trying to open, a message pops up. Come in box, come in box, come in box. Then you excuse yourself. You move as if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, pretending to enter thy rhinos. Say, come on, we are in advent service, but I'm getting back. I will see you soon. Yes, bye-bye. You are immature. Sometimes we leave our Bibles back home because the Bible is heavy. You have one. You have a songbook. They are neat. And you know where you keep them. But you don't have time to read them. Why? You are so busy. Sometimes it may be congregational singing. When they say, let us raise and we sing, deep inside you start complaining, ah, this guy, damn it. But you stand for the sake of the neighbor. They may tell us to kneel. And then you look at your expensive dress, your expensive suit, and you start complaining, the floor is hard. The guy is giving a long prayer. When is he stopping? Come on. Break the devil, Lord. Spiritual growth. There are those who are praying for me. When is Mr. Preacher stopping? We are hungry. Leadership. How is the leadership of our church? How have you come in to support the Lord's work? In our church, we have a number of educated people, a number of informed people, but they are watching the space. Say, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll not be in position. You see, I'm very busy. You know, by the way, any moreover, ETC. 
And then you find that the church is limping, the church is limping. Friends, you are aware that an organization is a function of its leadership. To some of us who are directly working in the church, there are those who laugh. How much are you earning? Pardon? You must be crazy. But that's the ministry. As a university, it has taken us a lot of time looking out for marketing manager. We are looking out for marketing manager. And now I'm announcing, because my university is looking out for marketing manager. I'll be in office on Monday to receive your application if you are there. Say, so how much are they paying? Oh, I'm sorry. That's the wrong place. We are looking out for an engineer. So working with Bukema University, ah, I hear those guys are paying peanuts. They're paying peanuts. Please come serve the Lord. Friends of mine, financial freedom. Financial freedom as far as our church is concerned. Gone are the days when we come up with the structures that limit our visibility. Financial freedom of the church members. I've been told that a poor person cannot be loved by the parents. And this one may limit some people from coming to church. Sometimes it's going to limit people from serving up this way. So, oh, the deacons may move around with the basket. Just pass it, pass it, pass it. Sometimes you have a problem as far as contribution is concerned in the family when they are soliciting for money to prepare lunch. Sometimes the pastor must come and plead. The elders are pleading for the cup meeting offering. Why? Because we are not earning. We must work towards financial freedom. Infrastructure. Yes. Seventh day Adventist Church, Central Kampala. We are looking out for that day when we shall be inside there. When I'm standing on the pulpit and it's required preaching from that church. It should come soon. Don't wait for my death. It should come soon. Yes, Professor Gold should also preach from there. Amen? How many would wish to preach from that church? Now you can see the way we raise our hands. Others don't believe themselves. A healthy family. We are saying that we should have healthy families. The someone I'm struggling with must have been preached in your own family. Today we have a number of unfunctional homes. Unfunctional families. People drive to church, but when they are quiet, you park and then they jump out. We sit in church, Somebody is married, but you're dressing for the wife, and the wife is nowhere to be seen. The younger people are shying away from marriage. I was asking him, how old are you? Do you think you're still young? He said, yeah, you know, I'm trying to sort out myself, you see. Anyway, moreover, by the way, maybe he's fearing. There are a number of ladies here. Groomed ladies. Naturally, it's hard for a lady to tap the man. But at least they have tried to put themselves, keep themselves smart. They are serving the Lord. But you find that the gentlemen, they are looking at them as if they are not seeing. You know, the girls wave, the eyes are not seeing. They signal, the men are not seeing. Maybe they are fearing. 
Could it be because of our families, which are unfunctional? Here is the families. It is not any other person's responsibility. It's your responsibility as a member of a family to ensure that your family is healthy. Our scripture told us to be patient. You can only appreciate this patience when you take trouble to visit these other churches out of this district, out of this building, out of this church. So that we can work as a team. We bring our strength as a team. We work as a team for the unity and for the accomplishment of God's work. Being gentle. Being gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults. Now, this time around, not faults, but each other's weaknesses. Maybe weaknesses in terms of resources. There are those who can afford a meal of 50,000 every day. But we have church members who cannot afford a meal beyond 500 shillings in a day. Now, if only you can sacrifice your lunch or your supper for a given church, then you hope that team, which is worshipping from under a shed in a ramshackle shelter, to enjoy worshipping a living God in a meaningful environment. Amen? Unity is something that you feel is something that you see, is something that you taste, is something that you can smell, as well as hear when it is present. In the same way, you realize when it is absent. Unity. When there is unity, everything runs smoothly, and more gets accomplished. However, when there are divisions and lack of unity, all we have is chaos, and total confusion. Unity is important because it will attract God's presence. Amen? When you read in your Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, you'll discover that Jesus' disciples were in one room, united as a team, but not as a group. And that's when the Holy Spirit descended upon them. As Central Kampala Zone, we must be united for a purpose. And that purpose is doing God's work accomplishing that mission of bringing many into the Lord's fold. The SDA church is almost coming to 100 years in Uganda. And the leadership at the Uganda Union Mission has set a target of 30% in whatever activities we do. 30% of your local church development 30% of your earnings, 30% of your ministry, 30% of your involvement. I want to call upon the brothers and sisters who happen to run out of church immediately after the sermon to disappear to their homes. Please keep around. Give another 30% of your time. After all, it's a Sabbath day. God commanded blessings upon a united family. Amen? God in the form of the Holy Spirit came down on the day of Pentecost when the believers were in one mind and one accord. One mind and one accord. If you want to tap into God's blessings and get empowered to do His work, 
there has to be unity in the church. God can't bless and God can't favor divisions. God isn't attracted to disunity because he's a God of unity. There is unity in God the Head, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And God expects there to be unity among his people. No wonder, as SDS, we have shares on any entity everywhere. Wherever you'll go, you'll say, our church, our church, our church. Whereas I worship from Kayunga Wakiso in Wakiso district, I can able a point that our church. This afternoon, I want to remind each one of us that there is that noble role you ought to play as far as Central Kampala Zone is concerned in accomplishing our work in this great city of Kampala. Ask yourself what you bring out of the so many gifts the Lord has accorded to you. We are soon breaking out for lunch and after lunch we shall get back here. We shall learn more. We shall brainstorm more to see how best we can move out to bring many into the Lord's fold. I want to thank those who have been out and those who have gone out to preach. I've been told that we have baptism today. For those who are yet to be baptized, friends, you have not taken a wrong decision. That is the best decision. And that's the very reason why the Lord has spared your life. Sometimes we take this life for granted. When you see yourself seated there, watching Mr. Preacher, and you imagine that it's your right, you are there by the grace of the Lord. At this particular moment, there is someone who is being buried. There is someone who is fighting for life. But it's by the grace of God that you are seated there. Amen? Throughout our lunch, let us think of the ways you as a person and us corporately, we are going to support the Lord's work in accomplishing it so that we may multiply ourselves and improve our services for the glorification of the Lord. May God bless you. Allow me to invite our brothers and sisters who have committed their lives to the Lord and who are going to be baptized this afternoon to come in front. Allow me to invite those people who are going to be baptized this afternoon. I request the chorister to lead us in a song as they are coming. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore.
thank God for the souls that have come out. I believe and trust there could be those who are still seated, possibly when they are shying away from coming in front. But I know that the Lord and the Spirit of the Lord shall lead them to the baptistry. Amen? Amen. We trust and believe that our God who performs in silence, who performs miraculously, will speak to them. As the elder is capturing her name, we are going to pray. Let us pray. Our God, our Father in heaven, thank you for that Jesus Christ who died for us at Calvary. Thank you, Lord, for that blood that washes away our sins. Thank you, Lord, for that Holy Spirit Spirit who guides us. Thank you, Lord, for accepting us to be called by your name. Lord, as we are down there, stuck in the mud of this world, stuck in the desires for the money, stuck in the desires of the worldly music, Stuck in the desires of alcohol. Stuck in the desires of all the desires of our bodies. Lord, you spoke to us. Today we can ably walk as free people because of your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, mighty Father, for your chosen people who have moved in front here. When they are desirous, of committing their lives unto you, Lord. God, we pray that you may strengthen them. Walk with them. Teach them. Speak with them. Lead them. Comfort them, Lord. It takes a lot of stress, Lord, to follow you. But no one can, Lord, can ever be at a loss having chosen to follow you. Help us to be exemplary to them. May your will be done in their lives. God, in a special way, I wish to commit the church members. I commit those, Lord, who chose to follow you some time back. But in the due course of moving, Lord, we backslide. In the due course, Lord, of following you, we fall. Give us the strength to crawl on. Let us keep on, Lord. Let us hang on. Let us be there. Someone out there, Lord, may have come to church this morning, grumbling, may have come for the sake. Let me get there. For the sake, Lord, speak to that soul. There are those who are troubled. There are those who are worried. There are those who may have wished to run immediately after the divine service. Keep them here. Let them find peace at being at church. Trouble them when they are moving out there for their own businesses. We pray for the sick who could not come to this place. Let your might healing hand, Lord, touch them. Let your will be done in our lives. For because we are prayed trusting through Jesus Christ, our Savior.
it so that we have the energy the family and serving you today and we believe the food is there by God's grace shall we pray for the food heavenly father I want to thank you because you created food and you gave us the appetite to eat that food and thank you for every family that is providing that food today through whom you have worked and we pray for a blessing to be upon that food as we eat it, Lord. May it help us to do our will. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Um, as we move out, let's make use of song 340. Song 340. Jesus saves. Song 340. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Song 340. 340. 